Hey Bass Geek here, and it's giveaway time again. Hey, this is the February Mystery Tackle Box. Now, if you guys don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, it's a monthly subscription, which by the way, if you look in the description below, you can get your first box for $5 with the code from Mystery Tackle Box. You'll get this subscription every month, and every month, Mystery Tackle Box picks out a diverse group of baits for the time of year and even your area or your region of the country. So let's dive right in and let's check out what MTB sent me this month in February. The Excite Baits, this is the Shad Nasty and a Quick Silver. That's a good color for around here. Now here's something that's really interesting. It's, it's pretty big, but apparently it is from Weston. It's a Scandinavian company. It is a swim. And apparently this is basically a suspending lipless crankbait. I dropped my swim baits. So that's pretty neat. And then we get into, they really send some, some nice hard baits. This box is full of nice hard, hard baits. This is the, by the way, this is the uh, MTB Pro box. Uh, good color for the water color that we got going on right now. If the water temps were a little higher, that square bill would be great, but that is a great, great uh, springtime bait right there. And then we've got a nice little gill color. This is from Lucky Craft. That is a little more transparent. That's gonna be real good. The other is from Max Lore. Let's see what else they send us. Uh, and some really good, what looks like some drop shot lures. This is from, uh, I'm not gonna pronounce this, I'll just show it to you. Uh, but it's a bait company that I hadn't heard from or heard of, but it's a good looking little uh, drop shot style bait. Kind of reminds me of the Shad Shape Worm by Yamamoto. And last but not least, as always, Something that is super nice this time of year and in this type of water, a finesse football head. What am I gonna pick? Big surprise, I'm gonna show you something that in the early spring, as the bass, especially the smallmouth, begin to group up, this is a technique that can really do some damage. All right guys, so the very first thing that I always do is I line this up. I make sure that I just use my thumb to mark it. And what I'll actually do is I'll just come in here and I'll make a nice little pick of where I want this hook to come out, if you can see that. Nice little pick there to where I want it to come out. So it's really key to get these straight. So I'm gonna run it up to, the, to about the barb. And what's great is you can see where the hook will actually come out. So you can actually cheat a little bit with these, have it come dead out in the center. Now, you're gonna find that pick, find that pick, you're gonna run it up, and you're gonna bring that hook out right in front of that rib that I marked, right in front of it. Now you're gonna kinda scrunch it up here, lift up just a little bit. You're just gonna bend the tail and start twisting this swim bait up. I like to get it all the way up there, get it nice and snug. Sometimes you have to bend that nose down just a touch. There you have it, it's nice and straight and we're ready to tie it on. Most of the time in the early spring, I'm gonna tie this on spinning gear. It helps me get longer casts, cover more water, and keep the bait a little bit deeper. I'm gonna throw it on eight pound test most of the time. Eight to 10 will work, especially if you're around, you know, heavier rock sections. I'm gonna throw it on fluoro. So what areas am I gonna target with this presentation? I'm gonna target bluff ends right where the creek channel swings away 
from that bluff wall to the end of that bluff, that bluff has to be leading into a spawning pocket. Sorry about the wind, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that sink to the bottom. I'm gonna hold my rod tip up pretty high and I'm just gonna tick that rock nice and slow. You want that tail to really do its thing. What we would do is we'd really fish right to the edge of this pocket and then we'd move on and find our next bluff leading in to a spawning cove or pocket. Again, I want to say thanks to Carl's Mystery Tackle Box for partnering with us and allowing me to give you guys some cool gear. Get you to test it out and get out there and get your own box. Don't forget in the description, check out that code for $5 off your first box when you get a subscription. Sorry, I had to cancel this month's MTB giveaway. I've set it in that seat a hundred times that bag it's super heavy and uh you know i didn't even see it it just popped out luckily i turned around if you'd have told me that bag was floating i'd have been i'd have told you you was crazy i went back and there it was so you know i got the cameras and stuff because if i'd have lost all that you know it would have probably shut the channel down for a couple weeks uh until i could at least get another gopro so there's the aftermath guys i am super super sorry about uh the box uh my bag is soaking wet this zipper come open um i haven't even taken the cameras out i'm hoping i can dry the mics out and they'll be fine uh you know the cameras are just gopros in there uh they're all waterproof so hopefully they'll be fine I've got a gimbal in there and I'm hoping it's gonna be all right. So, sorry guys, I'll make it up to you one way or another. As always, questions, comments in the comment section below. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you go subscribe to Mystery Tackle Box. Somebody might be making an appearance on there. Maybe sometime in the future. If I can catch some daggone fish. Don't forget to ring that bell so you get the notifications when these videos come out. And as always, man, you guys rock.